dear friends, my name is Ellen. I'm a manager of uh, Moi Chai Amsterdam, and today we will talk about uh, Japanese matcha. Uh, but what is matcha? Matcha is a powdered green Japanese tea, but it's originated in China. And let's talk about the history of matcha. At the end of the Tang and during the Song Dynasty, it's about 10th, 13th century, it was very popular to break tea into the powder and whisk it into the froth. It was drunk a lot by Buddhist monks, especially for them to stay wake up uh, during the long uh, meditation practices. A lot of monks from neighboring countries were traveling to China to learn Buddhism, and uh, one monk from Japan uh, fell in love so much with a tea, and when he traveled back to Japan, he took a, a tiny tea bush and then planted in the garden in the Kyoto area, where still the best matcha is grown. The Japanese developed their own tea tradition and tea ceremony while Chinese moved to steepen tea leaves in the hot water. Nowadays, matcha is uh, very much a Japanese tea tradition, and in 2015, it was popularized by um, Hollywood stars. So how the matcha is produced? Before uh, the tea leaves are picked in spring, they were shaded for about 21 days, if to talk about the ceremonial matcha. This creates a stress reaction in the tea bush, which causes in the production of more l in the tea leaves. The l is an amino acid, which gives you a feeling of calm focus and have a sweet and brothy taste. The shading uh, of the tea leaves also increases the production of chlorophyll in the tea leaves. That's why it's uh, so green and uh, also reduce uh, bitterness. So then they picked the youngest leaves from the top of the plant, usually it's uh, four leaves, and uh, then you need to stop the oxidation process as quickly as possible, so the tea leaves are steamed and air dried. Then the tea leaves are stored in a cool temperature. They need to cure for a few months to increase the taste. So beware of matcha which uh, appear in market on uh, early spring. So it's not possible actually. The last step is the stone grinding of the matcha leaves to the final powder. But you should be very gentle with this process because the raw fire powder creates more raw fire matcha and it can be bitter and the foam will last uh, less. So now I will show you the difference between different grades of matcha. So here you can see uh, different grades from our matcha tea shop. This is the culinary grade, uh, which is perfect for matcha latte and to drink it with milk. The next one is the premium matcha, which is a higher grade, but still it's uh, nice to mix it with milk and the ceremonial grade which is perfect to enjoy in a ceremonial way so now i will tell you how to choose uh, the best high quality matcha so first of all you should pay attention to the color of uh, matcha tea powder it should be a bright green not yellowish or brown it's very important that means it was shaded for enough time and uh, the tea leaves have produced enough uh, chlorophyll and altanin. Sometimes the yellow powder means that for that matcha was used the uh, old leaves from the bottom of the plant. And for a good high quality matcha, they used the uh, youngest leaves from the top of the plant, which is the most delicate and the most sweet. Uh, then the next thing is the texture. The stone grounded matcha uh, should be very smooth and the texture should be more like a cream. So let's see. For example, we take a little bit of our culinary matcha, which is the lowest grade. And it feels really like cream or it feels very, very smooth. That means it was grounded properly. Also good high quality matcha uh, smells very sweet. Uh, with a little bit of vegetal and grassy notes, but not bitter. Mostly this aroma comes from the l which reduces bitterness from the tea leaves. Let's also uh, test the other grades of matcha. 
So now we take the premium matcha. You can already see the color is more bright green than the culinary grade. And the aroma, I would say, is more like a caramelish even. The culinary grade uh, smells more grassy. So let's test the premium matcha. Oh nice, it feels like very, very smooth. Finally, the ceremonial grade, which is the best. You can see like if here with the culinary and premium grade, it seems more like a sandy, powdery, then the ceremonial grade is the most like creamy one. And I know how difficult it is to find the good high quality match in the Netherlands. And I hope this video will help you uh, to see the difference. So just for example, I bought some ceremonial matcha from the other shop. You can just clearly see the difference. You see already, right? So it's much more yellow, gray, and they call it a ceremonial matcha. It's not even close to our culinary matcha, and they call it ceremonial grade. So let's do the swatch. Uh, yeah, so the texture is uh, quite smooth, but the color is gray and yellow. Uh, that means uh, the technology wasn't done properly of the production, or it wasn't shaded enough, or that means it was stored for a long time and the matcha should be fresh. So I can't call myself a Japanese tea master, but I love matcha, so I will just share my way of uh, preparing matcha. So this is a traditional bowl for making matcha, which calls tawan. Uh, matcha whisk, which calls uh, chasen to create a perfect form. And the uh, matcha spoon, which calls chasako. Uh, let's take the ceremonial grade of matcha. And usually I use uh, three grams of matcha for this size of bowl. So this is actually three spoons. And now we need to take water of 75, 80 degrees. So a little bit cool it down. And I use this small pitcher to measure the water. So it's about 50 milliliters, just to cover a matcha a little bit. And now we start whisking the matcha until we see the perfect form. To mix matcha, I recommend to use the zigzag movements like this. Do not push on the whisk too much. Do not break the whisk. Just very, very gentle. And you can already see the form. Looks great. After that, you have two ways how to drink it. You can mix it with milk first and then drink it as a matcha latte. But for the matcha latte, I would recommend to use the culinary or premium matcha grade. And the ceremonial matcha is perfect to drink pure. So I just add a little bit more water. And whisk it again and drink. The ceremonial matcha is very sweet and soft itself, so you don't need anything extra. We are working only with a small local farmers who has an experience already for more than 300 years. And you're welcome to our Moichai Tea Club to learn more about matcha and to try uh, different grades. Also, because the matcha workshops in our tea club, uh, you can sign up on our website. In the description to the video, I will add a link to our best matcha products and also to our matcha workshops. So if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I will reply. Drink good matcha and stay healthy. Mm -hmm.